What is up, my dudes and that one girl who's looking for that special something for her special something this holiday season. Sorry, home girl, I don't review cat products. This is Bikes, Beards, and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. New videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Until it gets too cold, then we're probably going down to two. You've been warned. Let's get the other stuff out of the way. Want to save 10% on a cardio communicator? Check my referral link down below. Do you want to support me in all my do-gooderness like these cool guys here? Boom! Then you should check my coffee page down below. Also, check out the GoFundMe link down there. It's for a toy drive that I'm doing. 100% of the proceeds raised are going to buy toys for kids in the Manchester, New Hampshire area that are in need of a little help this year. Even a dollar counts, everything adds up. I would much appreciate your support on this. Hook a brother up, come on, come on. <laughs> so let's get into today's video. Today we are reviewing HSU products. Most specifically, we are talking about their GoPro accessories because HSU does have a lot of different things. So right out of the gate, first and foremost, this is gonna be kind of a mixed review and I'll get into that a little bit more as we go into this. Um, essentially, I have been testing these for the last like month or so. If you've watched my videos, you've probably actually seen the HSU stuff appear in camera but I wasn't talking about it because I was still deciding if I liked it and if it was a good product and if it was something that I wanted to talk to you about. So let's just jump into that part. HSU sent me this kit. What it is, is a bunch of different extension arms, a little wrench. <laughs> um, you'll see that a few of them are missing. That's because I actually have them on my GoPro right now. As I said, if you look at some of my videos over like the last few weeks, you will see that this is my front facing camera, the one that sits on my handlebars. You'll see this little trestle piece sitting there. Um, this is what I've been testing and using. So I have a handlebar clamp where I usually put my camera. I don't like having all kinds of like weird sticks and whatever hanging off my bike. I like to try and keep things as compact as possible. I've been through a bunch of different stuff over the years and if you've kept up with me, you've seen like goosenecks and all kinds of other stuff. And it's just basically me cycling through to try and find the thing I like the best. I do currently have a handlebar clamp that I very much like that uses this magnetic twist lock. Um, the biggest issue that I had was still, my camera was a little too close to me. I wanted something a little bit further back just to improve the angle a little bit. Well, improve it for me. I, maybe you guys are like, oh God, I wish you'd get a little closer. I, I don't know. <laughs> so yes, for me, I feel like the angle is better. I feel like I have a better camera position with this. I also like the fact that this is curved. It's a little bit shorter. And this is an all aluminum frame. It also comes with this, these nice little aluminum screws. Quite honestly, pretty much 10 times out of 10, if I have the option between plastic and aluminum, I'm going to go with the metal option. Just, uh, it's good, it's good, I like it. As you can see, I've actually replaced the one up top as well. So yes, I'm using two aluminum screws on this. I really like these frames because they have that sort of trestle design, which makes them so they're not dragging as much in the wind and stuff. Now, obviously this isn't gonna be killing my gas mileage or slowing my bike down, but as some of you out there know who use GoPros, um, if your arms or whatever catches in the wind, you'll find your camera creeping forward, creeping you know, in different directions. I've had my camera looking straight up at the sky because I hit a few different bumps. And that's actually where this stuff comes in and becomes a whole lot cooler. So HSU isn't playing around. When you buy a kit like this, they send you one of these little wrenches as well. The little wrench goes right onto these aluminum screws and just makes it so you can like torque these things down. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, there we go. You can get that thing as tight as you want, which is why I haven't actually removed it from this GoPro because this GoPro is pretty much always my front camera. So right now I have everything set into a position that I'm very comfortable with 
and I don't want to change. So I just, I torqued the crap out of these. So when you order this kit, comes in at about $35. You get a couple different arms. You get the longer arm, medium arm. You get a couple different like aluminum screws, which is great. You get the wrench and you get a couple little rubber gaskets there. Quite honestly, I forgot to put the rubber gaskets on. Whatever, this is a hundred years from now when they dig this up, archeologists, they're gonna find it in the same position it's in right now. So as I said, this is a mixed review. That's because HSU did send these to me for free under the agreement that I did an honest review on them, which is what we're doing right now. And again, with the slightly bigger ones, same trestle design going on. Yeah, I could probably do without the branding, but whatever, they got a brand, so you know what to buy. <laughs> um, but overall, these are light, these feel very durable because of that nice trestle design that they're using. So these, these are good, and you've got a couple different options. I honestly went with the curve you can buy these so they are straight. I went with the curve so I can kind of like mount it and make sure that the camera, no matter which length I use, the camera isn't catching like this post if I'm leaning it forward or leaning it down. It kind of gets it out of the way. Whether that is effective or not, I don't know. In my mind, this is what works. I'm sure the straight arms do the same thing. I just like the way this looks, I like the way it sits, and I like the way that it still kind of keeps it close to my bike and I don't have all kinds of weird things jutting off like my handlebars. Looking like um, I don't know, one of those goofballs that just has everything connected to their handlebars. Um, so back into the mixed review part. So for a while, again if you've been watching my videos, when I got the Hero 11s, I also got this case for my front facing camera. This is pretty much a waterproof case. This is designed, you know, so you can go diving and stuff with your GoPro. I bought this basically because my Hero 8s have gotten some dings and dents and stuff because of gravel and stuff bouncing up and hitting them while I'm riding. So I wanted to protect my uh, Hero 11s and I wanted to make sure that they stayed in good condition for a long period of time. However, in the summer and stuff, this is going to cause your GoPros to overheat a little bit quicker because there's no venting on this. This is designed to be sealed in, so it's just one big layer that's sitting on top of your GoPro. When you're riding, no problem. When you're stuck in traffic, problem. So I've been trying to move away from this. I have been very impressed with the HSU frames. So I went out and I ordered their Windslayer sock, which is also on this Hero 11 right now. And honestly, I'm not using this to slay the wind. I don't pull any sound off of this GoPro whatsoever. What I'm doing is I'm using it to protect from rock bounces and stuff like that. So you may be saying, well, you've got this giant cutout right here. Rocks can still hit that. And you are correct. And that is why I got the HSU tempered glass. <laughs> There's, it's in there. <laughs> it's in there. I got the uh, tempered glass. There we go that sits on the back of the lens here. I have been using tempered glass for years. Um, actually, if you watched my last Tale of the Dragon videos, some of my forward facing shots, you'll see like what looks like a little hair going across the lens. That's because I actually did get a rock strike that I didn't realize at the time on my Hero 8 lens. It cracked my tempered glass. All I did was peel off the tempered glass put on a new sheet of tempered glass and I was good to go. My lens was perfect. Stuff like the Hero 8 doesn't, like the Hero 8 didn't have the removable lens. So once that thing's cracked, you're pretty screwed. So I've always been an advocate of using some sort of screen protector on any sort of exposed glass. So I have it here, I have it here, and I have it here. I also have those on my front facing, my helmet facing camera as well. So yes, these were given to me for free. This I paid for full price. These I paid for full price because I was impressed with the quality of these. Um, so I guess HSU, if you were looking to, you know, kind of get people to buy stuff because like your quality speaks for itself, 
good on you. You did it. You made it. Congratulations. <laughs> um, so this is something that if you are a moto vlogger or if you have a moto vlogger in your life and you're looking to get them something for Christmas, this would be the stuff that I would recommend. This is good stuff, especially if they're using two cameras and they have stuff facing them. I did order the handlebar mount as well because I was looking to kind of keep everything the same. Honestly, I'm not using that. And the reason why is because my handlebars are too big and they don't have um, a handlebar mount for my bars. My bars are bigger than average. So I mean, like if you have normal standard size handlebars, I'd look at those as well. Mounts work the same way. You torque them down, they stay down. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. That's really all I've got for you guys today. Pretty simple one. Um, hope you like it. Definitely check out HSU. You can find them on their website. I'll link it down below. I don't have it off the top of my head. Or you can find them on Amazon. They definitely have a very heavy presence there. Um, I will say their website does have a few discount codes. I am not affiliated with them whatsoever. I make no money off of them whatsoever. So any discount codes that you get off of there or if you find them on Amazon, that's, that is all you. Nothing's coming back to me. Um, again, they told me they would send me this stuff in exchange for an honest uh, review. That's what I'm giving you. So, you know, if these sucked, I could tell you they sucked. <laughs> There's nothing HSU could do about it. But these are legit good um, devices. I really like them. And if you're curious about the straight ones, go check out Goofy Bastard because he actually did a review. I believe HSU sent him uh, the same trestle kit, except it was the straight out ones. So, you know, then you can kind of get an idea of both versions. But yeah, that's what I got. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with that one dude you know who's a moto vlogger who's like, oh, I wish my camera could be a little further away from me and I wish everything wasn't made of plastic. He loves this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.